If I had a gun, would I shoot you? Hi, I'm Divine Comfort and you're watching DiasporaLifestyleTV.com Hi, I'm Divine Comfort, a singer and songwriter from South West London. Well, Comfort is my birth name. People are always surprised by that, but that's my name. And um, Divine, that's the adjective I put on there because I feel like when I'm doing music, that's me at my best. Well, I guess like music or singing, should I say, singing, songwriting, it's always been a passion of mine from early. It was something that I used as a therapeutic means of expression. So I used to start writing in my diary and then from there they would turn into poems and then into songs. So I guess it's just innate. Okay, what inspires me? For me, rather than an actual celebrity or an artist, is actually music itself. So say for example, when I hear a guitar strumming, the melodies that are created, or the drum beat, or you know, just it's just the instrument itself. They just make my creative juices flow, and then next minute I have a melody in my head, and then lyrics in my head, and then I'm creating. So yeah, that's what inspires me. I guess it's a fusion. I've always found it hard to put myself in a box because. I'd say R&B, soul, but then I listen to some soul artists and I'm like, mm, but I don't sound like that. And then sometimes I might want to have a bit of an Afro mix in there. So I'd say, yeah, it's R&B, soul, because my voice, I guess, is kind of soulful. Um, but you know, sometimes you might hear a bit of reggae in there and yeah, Afro, Afro. <laughs> so I guess it's a fusion, basically. So yeah, recently I shot a video for my single called Shoot You and I know hearing it, it sounds like, what, what, shoot you, you look like a really calm girl. Um, yes, yeah, so I guess that that's a bit like, um, if you hear it, which you need to go and hear it, it's like me writing in my diary and going through the emotions that I experienced in a relationship um, and basically finding out that the person you you know gave your all to or loved wasn't who they said they were. Um, so it was kind of me working through those emotions and oh, I'm so angry I could do this to you, I could do this to you. But at the end, we have to watch the video to find out what happens at the end. But um, yeah, it was really well received. I actually shot the video in Nigeria. Like if I had a gun, would I shoot you? I'll get my nails done to scratch up your car Contemplating what to do to you Cause forgiveness is not on my radar um, And yeah, it, it was it was really great. great. It was a great experience. So I'm born and raised in Southwest London, but my parents are Nigerian. And it's only recently that, you know, I've kind of had um, more of a connection with my Nigerian heritage. I went back there last year and it was then that, you know, next minute I'd done the video and then just things started taking off for me. So yeah, I'm, I'm Nigerian. You can see the prince. I'm loving the prince. Yeah. <laughs> I have a load of songs, like just ideas. My phone is literally filled with ideas. Um, and the next song that is going to come out, it's gonna come out on the 27th of July and it's called Emotions Rolling. Shoot You, uh, Emotions Rolling and a few others, they're all part of um, an EP called Angel. Um, so there's a few more songs from that EP to be released but I'd say after that my sound is going to be evolving and this was all due to my travel back to Nigeria because when I went back I remember I met up with some musicians I was, I was at a studio and I remember I kept saying no I'm an R&B soul artist no I'm r and I'm not Afro because I can't speak like that no 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 you're Afro beats you're Afro beats and then it's weird because if you ask me what music I listen to it's Afro beats 
but I never made Afro beats. So I guess now, um, as I'm starting to get more in touch with my roots, I think you're going to be hearing more of an Afro sound in the near future. So look out for that. I have a song idea as well that I was inspired. It's called um, Nigerian Boy. So yeah, but you've got to you've got to stay in tune for that one. So yeah, I guess you could say a lot of my songs about love and feeling. So yeah, that's another that's another love one, but not as ominous as shoot you. You know, it's just, I guess it, you could say it's that the beginning stages, the honeymoon period when you're in a relationship and all the emotions that are felt during that time period. You know, it's like an emotional roller coaster. So that's why it's called Emotions Rolling. So I guess since, like I said, music for me has been and it's something innate, but at the same time, it's been a bit of a bath. Sometimes, you know, you run away from things and then you come back to it. So for me now, like my goal is really just to establish myself as a as an artist. I don't even want to just be an artist, I want to be a musician. So I'm trying to learn how to play the keys. After that, maybe I'll learn how to play guitar. And I just really want to make a name for myself and I want everybody to hear my music and love it, really. I say for anyone out there who has a dream, any dream, whether it's to be a singer and an artist, anything, a photographer, I'd say from, especially in your youth, pursue it. Don't let fear hold you back. Just go for it. Oh, what am I gonna sing for you? Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. As soon as she said that, my mind went black. Ah! But I've got, I've got something. Okay, let's see. The trade my faith fell from under grace for a sweet kiss now a bit to taste i'm left with grudges in my heart it's tearing me apart see mommy told me keep your eyes straight fixed on truth but i was lonely so i did what my flesh wanted to do now Dealing with the consequences Picturing the most vile things I could do Like if I had a gun, would I shoot you? I'll get my nails done and scratch up your car Contemplating what to do to you Cause forgiveness is not on my radar <laughs>